हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज रुंजय पटेल गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड एंड अजैक्स कॉल इन डिटेल लाइक हाउ वी कैन मेक अ सर्वर कॉल फ्रॉम क्लाइंट साइड हाउ अ स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड एंड अजैक्स आर रिलेटेड टू ईच अदर वाई वी आर लर्निंग दिस बोथ टॉपिक टूगेदर देर आर सो मैनी क्वेश्चन आई एल बी एंसरिंग ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो नॉट इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी मेकिंग अ कपल ऑफ मोर वीडियो रिलेटेड टू अस्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड एंड अजैक्स कॉल राइट तो आई वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग लाइक वट इज द यूज ऑफ अस्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड वेन वी कैन मेक अ कॉल फ्रॉम क्लाइंट साइड टू सर्वर साइड राइट वट इज द गेट एक्स एम एल वेट वट इज द गेट एक्स एम एल देर आर लॉट ऑफ मोर फंक्शनलिटी रिलेटेड टू अस्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड राइट एंड इन लास्ट एज यू नो लाइक आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग रियल वर्ल्ड सेनारियो दैट वेयर एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज लाइक पास एक्स एम एल डेटा फ्रॉम सर्वर साइड टू क्लाइंट साइड समटाइम वी रिक्वायर्ड सम डेटा फ्रॉम सर्वर साइड टू क्लाइंट साइड वाई लोडिंग द फॉर्म दैट टाइम विच वन इज बेटर गेट एक्स एम एल वेट और गेट एक्स एम एल वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग ईच एंड एवरी फंक्शनलिटी रिलेटेड टू स्क्रिप्ट इंक्लूड एंड एजैक्स कॉल fine so let's uh, start but before uh, starting guys it's my humble request if you have not liked and subscribe my channel please do so it's really motivate me to make a video on uh, other topic and if you would like me to make a video on any other topic you could just leave a comment on the video i will try to have those topic as soon as possible thank you so let's uh, start let's first discuss the overview uh about uh, a script include right so if you can see i have made this picture to explain you that how a script include and client and server are related to each other right so first of all uh, a script include is a server side script means like whatever server side objects available like a js uh, gn uh, js is the object you can use it right so you can make a glide record all the server side uh, object is available and you can use it in a script include how we can write a script include we will see in upcoming video or after some time right so first let's understand so basically if you can see here a script include here left hand side i have written a client side and right hand side i have written a server side right so basically uh client side from client side also we can make a call to a script include and from server side also we can make a call to a script include the first of all let's understand what is a script include so a script include i would say it's a repository of the functions right like we can write our many functions in one script include and we call it from let's say if you want to call from server side we can make a call and uh, we can execute the function how we will see in the upcoming videos from uh, client side also if you have written uh, some function in uh, script include and you want to make a call from client side maybe you are using a client script or ui policy in ui policy basically if you are have written a script that's why i have written mostly you will be using a client script to make a um, a script include call using a uh, glide ajax right we will see with the live example that how we can make a call from client side to server side so uh, in nut cell i would say like a script in include a repository of the functions okay it can be a uh, call from a client side as well as from the server side but uh, we have to define we have to tell to the system whether you want uh, this script include is available for client side or not that we will see how we can make that a script include available for client side and uh, how we can make uh, a script include uh, available for the server side server side like by default it will be applicable but for uh, client side we have uh, something checkbox we will see once we will create uh, a script include right so hope you understood like uh, what is the use of <laughs> a script include what uh, when and how we can call a script include we will see in upcoming video but before that uh, let's understand a couple of point so uh, while making a call 
we might have to come across that uh, get xml get xml answer and get xml wait so we need to understand the synchronous and asynchronous call okay so here i have written understand the synchronous and asynchronous uh, call basically so synchronous means uh, by default many people like uh, default they are using a get xml so basically this will be a asynchronous call asynchronous call means like uh, you are not waiting for the uh, response which will come from the server side to client side and uh, synchronous call if you are using a get xml wait it means uh, if you invoked your uh, script include then you have to wait for the response coming from server side means like uh, once the script include code executed and it will return back control to client script till that time you have to wait but if you have a job which you want to run uh, in background on that case definitely you have to make a get xml not a get xml wait because you don't want to uh, wait uh, make a wait of, of your users right so let's say uh, you have written a script include and you have called it from the onload client script and your script include is taking little bit time, uh, time like let's say 30 second right so user has to wait for 30 seconds if you have used the get xml wait right so why not if we we can run those uh, script in background and we will tell user hey you can just continue with your work right so we will see that example that how we can use so basically here we need to we will see all three example when we can use a uh, get xml when we can use a uh, get xml answer when we can we can use a get xml wait right i would prefer to use get xml answer that i will give you the why you will be asking why both are asynchronous call or oh, sorry asynchronous call then why you are preferring to use a get xml answer instead of a get xml the reason is it's very simple to use and uh, if you are using a get xml uh, it will uh, servers from server side response will come um, to client side as a whole xml right and if you uh, if you want to read that xml then you have to write a bunch of code uh, to read that uh, result which is coming from server side that we will see if you are using a get xml answer then easily you can just get your um, answer variable using a key key pair value which is coming from uh, server side you can just uh, alert it and you can just set it we will say that what's the difference once i will make uh, you know, actual um, live scenario in instance then you will understand what is the use of a get xml and uh, get xml answer right so now let's navigate to our system and how we can uh, um, let's understand how we can create a, a script include right it's a simple so what you have to do in the left hand side you just type a, a script include i would type uh, include only and uh, i will go inside over here uh, under the system definition so uh, by uh, this is the out of the box module you will be getting once you click over here you will be getting a list of uh, a script include which is already created out of the box by service now if you can see the here created by admin uh, glide Mint. so these all 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 are out of the box some are created by me also or uh, i'll be taking an example in this video right but uh, here is the all the script include uh, that will land if you will create your own also that will come over here fine now how you can create you have a new button over here just click it over here right it's very simple that uh, first thing that you have to do that you have to provide the name um, self-explanatory name let's say if you are talking uh, if you are creating a repository for user related then you just give a user util something right the moment you will give provide the name let's say i'm just typing user utils right so by default uh, the api name will get generated based on the because we are uh, creating this under the global application so global dot user utils uh, api is the name this is how we have to call it client callable this is the one i was talking about that uh, when you are uh, hmm, 
you want to make this uh, script include available uh, from client side then you have to make this uh, checkbox checked okay this one you have to make the checkbox checked fine uh, mobile callable uh, this is again if you are a um, make sure if you want to run this uh, through the mobile then you just make this callable this is the new feature service now has introduced in the Janadu version then uh, this is a sandbox enable basically um, sandbox is the instance uh, this will be applicable for that only if you want to make a such a way this is not applicable for production then you can just make this checkbox checked active we already know if it is active then only you can call it accessible from that uh, whether is uh, from all application maybe like uh, if you create a script include for your uh, scoped application you want to make that a uh, script include only restricted to your application then uh, just select the this application a uh, scope only means whatever the application selected over here description uh, give the detailed description what this uh, script in a uh, script include is all about so that other developer can understand while reading your description and here we will be writing our whole logic um, from um, our basically a glide record all those other steps we will see that how we can write how we can make a use of it and just uh, click a submit it will create a new uh, script include for you and you can just make a function so this is a one function similar way if i want to make a my own function we can make it let's say i can give any name right so i this is by default one function is giving this uh, i have made my function i will call it so right now i have not uh, clicked the client callable so this uh, script include be not available for client but we can call it from the server side like from one uh, script include to another and uh, script include we can call it from business rule we can call it uh, right from ui action when we are, we are writing a server code from there also we can call it right hope you understood the overview of uh, script include right and uh, in next video i'll be talking about like how we can make a um, server call basically uh, how we can create a script include which will be only applicable for server side and how we how we can create a script include which will be applicable for the uh, calling from the uh, client side right but that we will see in the next video thank you thanks for watching